The 2024 NHL playoffs are here, so let's get you caught up on all 16 teams participating, starting with the worst of the bunch. The Washington Capitals are the worst team to make the NHL playoffs in almost 25 years with a goal differential of minus 37. Definitely one of the luckier teams in the NHL this season, going 20-11 and 2 in one goal games. Thanks in big part to their goaltender Charlie Lindgren, who has the second highest goal saved above expected since March 1st. The New York Islanders were the second last team to squeeze into the Eastern Conference playoff picture. Patrick Waugh took over head coaching duties with 37 regular season games left and led the team to a 20-12-5 record. Leading Waugh's Islanders has surprisingly been 33-year-old Kyle Palmieri, who has 19 goals since the coaching change. Despite also having a negative goal differential, Ilya Sorokin has the goaltending ability to steal a playoff series away from any team. The Los Angeles Kings started off as one of the hottest teams in hockey this season. The Kings had the second best points percentage by December 7th. LA is one of the best defensive teams in the playoffs, finishing 5th in shots allowed, 5th in giveaways, and own the 2nd best penalty kill unit. And having defensive minded players like Philip Deneau, Matt Hua, and Mikey Anderson are crucial to their success. This will be Tampa Bay's 6th straight year in the postseason, and the Lightning come into the playoffs with the best power play in the NHL, converting at a 29% rate. But for the first time in the Vasilevsky era, people are starting to ask questions. As Andre Vasilevsky is having the worst season of his 10-year NHL career. Last year's Stanley Cup champs are back in after another year of salary cap manipulation and solid deadline acquisitions. Last year's Conn Smythe winner Jonathan Marcheseau had a quiet 42-goal season, but Vegas's strengths that propelled them to their first Stanley Cup win in franchise history led them back to the postseason this year. Strong defensive play and physicality as they finished second in total block shots, and seventh in hits. The Nashville Predators, a team most people will probably underrate offensively, but really shouldn't. The Preds finished third in expected goals for at five on five this season and created the fifth most high danger scoring chances. Although Nashville has a lot of qualities of an underdog team that can ruffle some feathers in the West, their biggest crutch is how they turn over the puck, finishing dead last in total giveaways this regular season. The Toronto Maple Leafs head into the playoffs yet again with the best goal scorer in the NHL. Austin Matthews' 69 goals is the most in a season since Mario Lemieux in 1996. With William Nylander, Mitch Marner, and John Tavares also on the roster, Toronto should be considered one of the top offensive teams heading into the 2024 NHL playoffs, as they finished with the most goals for at 5-on-5 five five this season. But to no one's surprise, Connor McDavid and his Edmonton Oilers come into the postseason with the highest powered offense, finishing first in shots on goal, expected goals for, and high danger chances is created. However, being as offensive driven as they are, they tend to have quite a few defensive mishaps as they finish bottom three in the league in both giveaways and block shots, which are two things Stanley Cup winning teams have excelled at in the past. The Colorado Avalanche, another high driven offensive team in this year's playoffs, led by captain Nathan McKinnon, who could win his first heart trophy after finishing with 51 goals and 87 assists this season. And one thing you need to know about this Avalanche team, they are extremely disciplined and cautious with the puck, finishing first in least amount of giveaways this season. The Winnipeg Jets had an outstanding regular season, finishing first in team save percentage and goals against at five on five. Thanks in big part to Connor Hellebuck, who will likely claim his second career Vesna trophy. But how far can Connor Hellebuck carry his team this postseason? After having the most successful regular season in NHL history and getting eliminated in the first round by the Panthers last postseason, the Boston Bruins are back with a vengeance. Any team should fear a seven game series against the best goalie tandem in the NHL with Jeremy Swayman and Linus Allmark between the pipes. The Bruins worked their way to second place in the Atlantic Division this year through unbelievable goaltending and efficient scoring, finishing third in team save percentage and fourth in team shooting percentage this season. The Vancouver Canucks were this season's biggest surprise, capturing second place in the Western Conference after finishing 11th just a year ago. Vancouver finished this season with the highest PDO in the NHL, which is team save percentage and team shooting percentage combined together. But this might not be the best omen, considering not a single team that's led the NHL regular season in PDO over the last 10 seasons has ever made it to the Stanley Cup final. The Stanley Cup runner-ups are back in this postseason. Sam Reinhart's 50-goal season and outstanding play from Bobrovsky helped them finish first in the Atlantic. And despite winning 
four straight to close out the regular season. The Panthers head into the playoffs with a 7-9 and nine record over the last 16 games. The Carolina Hurricanes head into their sixth straight postseason, winning five straight first round playoff series. But Carolina comes into this postseason with their best roster yet, finishing first in shot attempt share, first in expected goals against, and owning the top penalty kill unit and second best power play. If Kachekov and Anderson stay in top form, this team could be unbeatable. The Dallas Stars claim top spot in the West. And one random stat you should know about the Stars is that they led the NHL in the face-off dot, winning face-offs at a 55% rate. The Stars have been able to rely on Jake Ottinger in the postseason, but this year it might be different. Considering Ottinger has struggled, owning the fourth worst high danger save percentage in the NHL at home this season. The New York Rangers finished at the top of the NHL this regular season, thanks to elite special teams, finishing with a top three penalty kill and power play. And of course, Igor Shosturkin, who has a 930 save percentage and 2.2 goals against since February 1st. The Rangers claim their first President's Trophy since 2015. But one thing to note, the last team to win the President's Trophy and Stanley Cup were the 2013 Chicago Blackhawks. All right, thank you guys for tuning in. Let me know what you thought of this style of video. Can definitely do something like this in the future. Let me know who you think is going to win this year's Stanley Cup, and I'll see you guys in the next video.